Hi Aries, welcome back. So Aries, this is going to be your you versus them reading. I'm going to go back and forth between you and the person you may be connecting with. Since this is a general reading, the roles can be reversed, so feel free to swap it. And my readings are timeless, so I trust that when this finds you, it's for you. So Aries, when I was uh, meditating on the overall collective Aries energy, I got a few different images. I actually got an image of, it looked like someone was blowing a kiss. I just kept getting this hand movement. Um, and then it actually ended up like transforming into a dandelion and someone making a wish, like blowing a dandelion. <laughs> So dandelions might be uh, of importance to you. Some of you might be wishing for something or some, someone wishing for you or, you know, I just kind of get like this. Um, I heard lustful, but that's not the word I was searching for. It's almost like, yeah, I don't know, like a whirlwind, but in a positive way because I also saw like what looked to be the beginnings of like when the clouds start turning before a tornado comes, but it, it was still sunny in the dream. So that lets me know that there's a whirlwind of emotion that's possible during this time frame. But I think um, for a lot of you, it's either a blessing in disguise or a wish fulfillment coming through. So let's see, Aries. Overall energy is Taurus energy. Some of you could be dealing with one, have that in your birth chart and or it's just the influencing vibes, right? So this uh, energy is all about, um, you know, earthy energy, practical energy, being productive, being steadfast, um, sticking to your goals. It's a very ample energy. It's kind of a pleasure-seeking vibe, a sensuous vibe for some of you. So you could be exuding that, Aries, or the person you're connecting with. Um, on the other side of that, it can be a bit stubborn. It can be a bit overly tenacious, you know, or even possessive. So um, that might also be something that you're dealing with during this time frame. So Aries, let's get into it and get some more details. Your overall energy is the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. So this is about your home, your emotional fulfillment, your family, you know, things that make you feel at home because I specifically got that word, you know, feeling at home, wanting to feel at home. Um, you might be really heavily focused in that area, all right, because I feel like, you know, it's time to get comfortable with who you are and where you're at. That's what I'm hearing. Then you have the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. So Aries, I feel like the person you're connecting with, you know, might have been a bit isolated from you and or this could be someone who has things going on in the background that um, I heard under the table. There might be some of that going on, just FYI. Um, I feel like there's clarity coming though and some sort of information here on this person's side. So what, whatever has been hidden, I think is going to come to the surface, right? Um, because they're going from the page of swords to the ace of swords and it may be like, yeah, I keep getting like hidden. I heard hidden enemies. This person may have some, or you may have some, but they're, there's some sort of gossip going on in the background in this person's energy, and I feel like they're trying to isolate this from you or from you knowing about this or, yeah, because I definitely heard under the table, but I feel like there is clarity here, so the truth is coming. The truth of a situation, this person may be getting clarity as well, you know, because I, for a few of you, this person isn't aware of something that's going on in the background you know, with them and they're getting the truth during this time frame. So I could see that a few different ways, right? Interesting start. <laughs> now we're going to go into the recent past energy and uh, perception of each other, how you genuinely feel at the end of the day, your hopes and most likely future outcomes. So... <clears throat> What events led up to this for my Aries? Oops. All right, give me one more card. Or two more. They're flying. The King of Cups, the Magician. The Knight of Swords and the Fool. So this is your energy, Aries, right here. Um, this is about 
taking chances, taking risks, leaps of faith. You know, uh, you might have had a lot of new beginnings happening or things that were requiring you to take a little bit of a leap of faith, you know, to have a little bit of trust in the universe in the past. Um, I feel like that's exactly what you've been working on, Aries, in general, is just, you know, having faith that things are going to work out the way that they are designed to work out for you and that you don't need to know every step, but you know, that sources got your back. Some of you have been practicing your faith, meditating, praying, things of that nature. For others of you, this is just really becoming more emotionally aware and, you know, working on being more calm and peaceful in your own energy. And this is actually allowing you to manifest some changes in your life that are moving you forward, right? It's almost like this period of time where you were envisioning, you know, where you wanted, where you were going to go. And then when you got into the ready space, it just being all steam ahead and um, things moving forward in a fast way. Uh, a lot of you have already experienced this. Some of you, that may be what's coming in during this time frame. As if you remember, I saw like the wish fulfillment and the cyclone type of vibe there. But um, I feel like, yeah, you know, you've got the tools necessary to move forward at this point, And you've achieved some sort of balance in your energy. You've raised your vibration in a way, if you will. And it's deriving from allowing yourself to you know, rely on the universe or allow your, allowing yourself to take a risk that maybe required you to really go within before you took action. And um, because of that, there is a manifestation of things moving forward here. So let's see uh, what's going on with this person in the recent past energy and go from there my Aries people person Aries is dealing with I swear every time I do your reading now Aries I get that sister act song in my head <laughs> I think I got that. I got it like two readings ago, and now it's like as soon as the as soon as Aries pops into my mind and starts playing in the background. So apparently, Spirit really likes that song for you. Um, <laughs> and for those of you who didn't tune into that reading, it was um, Oh Maria. It's from the movie Sister Act, but yeah. And if you think about, you know, the setting of that movie, it's all about having faith, right? And um, kind of pushing out of your comfort zone a little bit. And that's kind of what I was feeling in your energy. So for a lot of you, um, because my readings are timeless, you might want to go back and watch the reading prior to this and maybe even the one prior to that. And you might get one succinct story here because I feel like this is a continuation um, for a lot of you. So they have the Knight of Cups, the Lovers, Judgment, and the Four of Cups. Someone regrets some decisions that they made in the past. That may be what they're keeping to themselves. You know, it may have nothing to do with you, just to be quite honest with you. Um, but it may. It may have something to do with this connection, for sure. I feel like this person, you know, they really put their heart on the line in a past connection and made some decisions that they regretted. And, you know, this could be in a past connection that was prior to you, Aries, is what I'm getting. And, you know, they put something on the back burner with that or they're, they have a fear of maybe making the same or similar mistake or that may be your energy that they're picking up on for a few of you. You may be, Aries, fearing, you know, making the same mistake in a new relationship that you made in a prior relationship. But for the most of you, I'm picking it up on this person's side, or it's like past life decisions, um, or past decisions in their past, in their prior life. And I don't mean like literally the life before this one, although possible. I mean like their life before you, you know, and um, sometimes it causes this person to be a bit disconnected in their energy, I feel, um, you know, almost fearing like making wrong decisions. Um, uh, that type of energy or maybe being emotionally aloof at times 
um, or they may sense that in you, Aries. But I feel like overall, this person is learning to be vulnerable. Again, they're they're trying to um, strengthen, you know, connections in their life in general, particularly this relationship for a lot of you. And they're just carefully weighing out decisions, right? Because they don't want to make any decisions they regret. I just keep getting that like this. Like there's almost like a cautious energy around this connection of someone not wanting to make like a regretful decision, right? Um, so let's go into perception. <clears throat> Four of Swords. What is Aries' perception of this connection? Alright, so you have Four of Swords, Four of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, the King of Swords, and the Five of Swords. So when you think about this connection, Aries, I feel like, yeah, there's that stubbornness. <laughs> it could be coming from your side, but I actually feel like that's how you kind of see this person at times. Um, but tomato, tomato, right? Sometimes what we see in other people is also what we're exuding, right? But I feel like, yeah, you know, there's a sense of peacefulness here. There's a sense of calm, but there's also a sense of stubbornness here and not always hitting the mark. And I'm not really sure if like sometimes you're like really on with this person and sometimes you're like a little off or like the connection's a little off or maybe it doesn't go as smoothly as it always, as it usually does or something. But I feel like there's definitely a sense of missing the mark and, um, you know, I feel like there's a lot of reflection going on in uh, this person's energy, but it's actually the way you see them. So you could be the one that reflects a lot on feeling disconnected at times or wanting to detach at times. And I just feel like someone has other stressors <clears throat> going on that's creating that energy outside of the connection, but it can be a disconnection, of course, with this person, uh, because, you know, overthinking some, some, some things. I heard someone thinks too much. They just overthink everything, you know, and um, it causes missed opportunities or missing the mark. And it's it's deriving from this place of stubbornness, or at least that's how you see it, right? That may or may not be the truth, but that's how maybe you are viewing this person during this time frame of uh, just, you know, needing to let go a little bit and be a little bit more um, open and pra I heard practical as well. Let's see this person's perception of you, Aries. They have the Seven of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. So, Aries, I do feel like when this person sees the connection, they... They do feel a sense of protectiveness, a, pro uh, a sense of guardedness even at times. You know, this person feels like there's a lot of emotional satisfaction to be had. There's a lot of cooperation, you know, seeing eye to eye and um, being open to communicate, but then not really. Because you have the Eight of Swords and the um, Eight of Wands. So there's some sort of restrictiveness around the communication in the connection. And I feel like... This person may view you as doing that, but I actually sense that it's coming from their energy because I felt this sense of, uh, you know, something going on in the background and it causes restrictions within the connection, right? So I just feel like this person is very guarded about that. It's like, <laughs> I have the count in my head. <laughs> One, uh, 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 two, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it's, I don't know why I have that in my head. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Sesame Street. Um, what I was going to say before that came in was like, you know, they don't want to show you what's in Pandora's box or there's something behind the door that they're very protective of. There's an emotion or a thought or something there that there is protection around, right? Um, for others of you, it could just be that this person's very protective of the connection. You know, they may... Um, have a lot of things that satisfy them within the connection that make them want 
to, you know, put their time and energy into it and, um, you know, very open with that. But then again, there's a sense of restriction here or insecurity that kind of blocks uh, the connection a bit. So let's go into how you genuinely feel. And give me one second. Sorry about that. So how you genuinely feel underneath it all. That was perception. That was surface level. Now we're going to go into the uh, deep emotions and uh, what you're truly feeling. So, so far you have the nine of pentacles out here, Aries. <clears throat> then you have the two of pentacles. Okay. Ooh. And king of pentacles. And the world card. So Aries, yes, I feel like, you know, underneath it all, you genuinely want your independence, yes, and you're very an independent zodiac sign, so not surprising there. But I think that you also want comfort, you also want family, you also want home, you want that emotional fulfillment, you want to feel comfortable in a relationship for a lot of you. And there is a bit of a back and forth, I think, within you emotionally as to like how to balance those energies out. Because some of you are really used to being independent or the one in charge of, you know, your own domain, your own life. And so um, sometimes I feel like it can be hard for you to relinquish that control. And or it's just like there's a lot of self-sufficiency in the emotional desire. So I feel like you're desiring emotional self-sufficiency, but also desiring a source of comfort, uh, a mate, I heard, for a lot of you, you know, and it definitely could be this person. Um, it doesn't have to be. I just feel like there's still somewhat of like an... I heard ebb and flow. So some of you are learning very well how to balance this, right? Um, but for others of you, there's still a bit of like back and forth, you know, do I want to do it my way or do I want to, you know, have like a collabor a collaboration. I heard collaborative environment. <laughs> um, but emotionally, it's like, you know, wanting to pull it together and um, see things come to fruition and there's success here. So I feel like a lot of you are, mo are in this space where you're feeling comfortable with who you are and feeling successful with that energy and yeah, you know, you might be juggling a few things or bouncing back in the emotional space. For, for the most part, I feel a lot of self-assuredness going on. And to be honest with you, it's like the creme de la creme of emotions that you can feel, you know, <laughs> if there is such thing. So, <laughs> creme de la creme. I get the craziest words when I do these readings. <laughs> All right, so let's see what this person's emotions are. The star, ace of cups, the queen of wands. Oh my gosh, yes, there's the page of cups here. <clears throat> so I feel like Aries, this person is, man, they got a lot of wishes and emotional desires. And if this is intimate, this person has a lot of love for you, in love with you, or, you know, they might just be very geared in the relationship love arena right now. Um, but I feel like, um, with the Queen of Wands showing up here and you being the Queen of Wands, I feel like you are this person's emotional wish, you know, and they may not be the best at opening up all the time because I feel like they keep things to themselves, you know, um, especially if you're dealing with a water sign, but it doesn't have to be. But it's, it's coming from a place of good intention. Um, I have a song in my head, is it Nayakia? Ikea, bad intentions, but I actually feel good intentions, although that's a good song. Um, <laughs> uh, I guess there might be a small group of you where it feels like they're bad intentions, but I don't actually think that that person is coming from that space, at least during the snippet of time, okay? Um, but I feel a lot of emotion here. A lot of desires, a lot of wish fulfillment, um, 
you know, in their emotional space. And it's just like simply having the confidence enough to really express that is going to be important for this person. And to not get, you know, overly childish with it or to close themselves off. You know, I do feel like sometimes this person might be a little bit emotionally immature. I heard codependencies might be an issue for a few of you. I think the ones that that's an issue for is the ones where you perceive bad intentions. Because maybe like this person's emotional responses aren't always like lining up for you. Um, <laughs> but I feel like for the majority you know, this person loves you. And, um, yeah. They especially love when you're feeling self-assured like this. Like, I feel like your security in yourself makes you beautiful. And it makes you more attractive to this person. Okay. Your hope is the death and rebirth card. So you're hoping for some changes, for some transformations, um, and there's definitely changes coming in. So no need to hope for too long. I just feel like, you know, you're just kind of taking it all in, absorbing all of it, and really appreciating the space that you're in, I feel, um, or getting to that space where you can appreciate, you know, um, the connection or the space that you're in emotionally, because I actually feel that it's a pretty nice space right now. Um, the person you're dealing with is hoping for the Ten of Wands and the Empress. So I, I feel this Empress energy is you, but it could be them. Um, I feel like this person is kind of hoping to, uh, make peace and, um, you know, if they've been really struggling or working hard, I feel like they kind of want to reprieve from that a little bit, Aries, and more peaceful energy to come through. Um, this person may be, you know, working hard to get your attention for some of you or to impress or, you know, I get that this person feels a little bit less than you, like they married up. Um, or you may feel that way for a few of you. And I, I specifically got that term, uh, wifed up, married up. So now you don't have to be married to this person, but someone feels like the other person has a higher value than the other one for whatever reason. Of course, in spirit's eyes, um, there is no such thing as having a higher value than anyone else, regardless of what you look like or what you have. If the divine sees all as divine. But, you know, on, on the ego plane, sometimes our insecurities allow us to believe that other people have more value than ourselves. And I feel like I can't tell what side that's coming from, but I would guess it's this person's, but it can be either or because it's general reading. But I get that energy you know, of seeing someone as, as having more value, you know, than the other. So let's go into future outcomes. Now keep in mind that all the future outcomes can be changed with free will. And, um, you're in the driver's seat, not me. I'm just giving you a snapshot. So you have the hierophant here. Page of Swords, the Chariot, give me one more. So Aries, I feel like, you know, there's a higher level of commitment here coming in. Um, and that could mean a lot of different things, but I feel like you're getting new ideas about what's possible and there's movement forward here with the Chariot. Some of you might actually be thinking about like travel plans, travel ideas, or, you know, some of you might be researching about vehicles. I'm getting really specific messages now, which I don't usually go into. <clears throat> so on an energetic level though, this just signifies getting new ideas about what's possible for you, getting new ideas about where things are headed and where things are going. But it's like in this very whimsical, that's the word. See, at the beginning of the reading, I was trying to describe like the energy I was feeling and I couldn't get the word. And it's like whimsical, you know? Because <laughs> I wanted to say Disney for some reason. Um, but I feel like, yeah, you know, 
So you're wanting more peace and more balance in your life and more assuredness and kind of blocking out the negativity and that's allowing you to move forward. Whether that negativity is coming from others or your own self-dialogue, your own self-talk and just having those doors open up for you and um, getting into a higher elevation and a higher frequency. And Aries, your readings have been really, I mean, some of the best well, there's no good and bad readings, but I feel like the energy of the Aries people that watch me have been, you know, slowly increasing in their vibration. And it's just really beautiful to see that continuation. So go check out the two prior readings for sure. But yeah, that's kind of where I feel like your energy is headed here. So let's see this person's energy for their future hopes or I should say future energy. <laughs> they also have free will, so that can be changed. But let's get a snapshot and see for my Aries. So, Three of Swords. Why are these like this? Whoa, whoa. Okay, curveball. Three of Swords, the King of Swords, the Devil. Three of Wands, Six of Wands. So I feel like this person's having a regression, okay? Um, and of course, this is any future energy can be changed with free will. So, um, but some of you, they're already in this energy because time is different for all of us. But I just feel like there's our, there's some regression here. Remember I told you that this person has something going on un either under the table or in the background or in the back burner that may they may not even be aware of. I actually feel a lot of them are, but there's something else here that lies beneath the surface. And I feel like this person might have uh, either quite the obsession or dark side um, that they hide pretty well and it may come off on the surface is just a bit of possessiveness um, and or they've got something they got something in the closet okay they got some demons here <laughs> and, and I'm not saying that this person is evil or that you should be afraid Aries or none of that um, because we all have things that we're dealing with but I feel like this person they keep it under lock and key they don't want you to see that you know or some of you are aware of it, but this person maybe doesn't want others to see that, you know, like I feel like this person has a propensity to really be pulled into that darker element. And even though there's all of this really light energy here and they know that they've regretted some decisions in the past because of this behavior, but yet it still manages to creep its ugly head up, you know, in their energy. Um, and then whether they act upon this or not is going to be up to them, but I feel like they're definitely going to hurt themselves in the long run by following that, um, and or hurt you, but to hurt another is to hurt ourselves as we're all connected. So there cannot be one without the other, but it's just like this person has this very serious, almost cold nature. Um, and, you know, I'm getting that this is coming from, for some of them, their father figure or like a parental figure and how they were raised, something to do with that where, you know, it can be um, very authoritative and edgy. And, you know, um, some of you might actually find that attractive. Some of you like the bad boy, you know, or the bad girl. <laughs> And that's not so unlike Aries, you know, but, um, <laughs> and or they may like that about you, but I'm actually feeling that on this side, but it's like, they've got quite the jealous streak or anger streak here and it just hurts them. It, it ends up hurting them. It bites them in the butt every time they allow themselves to go there. So I think that they're learning a lot of valuable things. Um, that are stemming from that energy and they're, and they're learning about themselves in a way of controlling emotion better and some are doing really well at it, but I feel like some are still dabbling in the shadow during this time frame. What's interesting is the six of, 
Three of Wands, Six of Wands is here. So there's victory. You know, there's victory to be had. There's success. There's movement forward. There's the ships coming in. So, um, I feel like that's surface level. It's one of two things. Either this person is able to push past this darker emotion and, um, Therefore, they have their ships come in, things go smooth sailing, and they have a lot of success here. Um, others, that this is like what's going on on the surface, but deep down there's a whole lot being suppressed or compartmentalized or hidden. Okay, so, yeah, I heard buyer beware. Um, I just feel like this person has this strong desire to overcome it. I, I, I'm not like so happy about this underlying energy, but at the same time, I can feel in this person's energy, this like willingness to try something new or to try to overcome this and, um, to really want to push past it. So I feel like some of them are faking it till they make it right now. <laughs> Um, but others are really, really, you know, trying to do the work here, Aries. So I feel like this person, either way, to be honest with you, for the moment is going to still somehow overcome, be successful, and to push past it. I'm just not entirely sure it's authentic movement for it and it's genuine. But there again, I feel like you can't control someone else's progress. You can't control how they genuinely feel or cope. You can only control you, Aries. That's the only energy you have power over. And your self-assuredness and you being comfortable with you and having new ideas about what's possible for you is going to drive your energy forward regardless. All right? And some of you are going to take this person energetically with you or, or physically for some of you. So... Um, you know, to each their own, but that's kind of what I'm seeing for the most likely future outcome for now. So Aries, as always, a wonderful reading. Um, zodiac signs you might be dealing with. I have Scorpio, I have Taurus, Cancer. <clears throat> Aquarius, um... Pisces, Libra, Gemini, yeah. and Fire, could be another Aries, Leo, or Sag. Those are the primary zodiac signs I'm seeing, I have Virgo over here, but it can be any zodiac sign because it's a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it did resonate, please do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe. Um, you can check me out on Facebook and Instagram for more fun stuff, link down below, as well as in the about section of uh, my YouTube. And if you like my style, you can get it for yourself at my sister's online boutique, avasofia.com. So check that out below as well. Either way, I'm wishing you the very best, Aries. And until next time, my friends, stay.